Six strangers awaken from nightmares of flying and falling in a mysterious cave. Jelania, a woman far from home. Corvet, an Asmar noble seeking answers. Artyom, a blind priest. Pyotr, a diplomat on the run. Drith, a druid looking for his father. And Kadiok, an Orsayan tribesman from the far north. After determining that they mean each other no harm, they realize that none of them knows how they got there, but they quickly work their way out. Guided by a mysterious girl, they head north from the cave to the town of Pelegrod, the site of an ancient battle that took place centuries ago. They discover that the valley has been surrounded by a mysterious fog, preventing all from leaving. Guided by the fey creature Domovoi, they begin their search for a lost girl, making their way to the old castle, where it is revealed that the former lords of the valley served a dark power, performing a wicked sacrifice to aid in the return of the Dark One, the name associated with the dragon god of shadow, Morpheus. The Domovoi then guides the group to the Witch of the Woods, who reveals herself to be a fey lord named Maeve. A bargain is struck, Maeve agreeing to help the party escape the valley in exchange for three ingredients. Kadiok, whose people worship the fey as gods, offers up his eye for additional favors from Maeve, the answer to a question for each party member. While collecting the ingredients, it is revealed that Piotr has a dark past, a murder he performed a day before he arrived in the valley. In the search for the final ingredient, Ethereum, the party's situation looked dire. Artyom revealed his true nature as an ASMR and saved them at the last second. After having gathered the ingredients required, the party were finally able to leave the valley. They made their way south towards the city of Barrelgrad, seeking more answers in regard to the dark rituals they had learned about in Polygorod. On the way, they ran into some old friends of Corbett's, Tian, Iona, and Rayla. Gaining access to Barrelgrad thanks to Piotr's former studies there, the party discovered more information in regard to the dark rituals, more aptly named sacrifices. However, the searching roused suspicions in a hidden sect of the Profane Guard, those who seek to bring the Dark One back to the world. Escaping through a secret passage, Corvit's friends remained behind to ensure the party would not be followed. They make their way north towards the city of Cordovan. Jelania's secret home. They stopped briefly in the town of Ermag, learning the Profane Guard had a presence there. They learn of an ancient witch that has set up a mosaic, stealing souls that she was determined to offer to the Dark One upon his return. It seems that the Profane Guard are not the only ones preparing for the Dark One's advent. Jelania then reveals her true heritage as the daughter of the Baron of Cordovan, though she is not certain as to the fate of much of her family. The party agrees to journey farther north to discover their fate. Jelania reunites with her sister Svetla, just outside the city of Cordovan. Sveta reveals to Jela that only she and her brother Vitaly survived the day their family was slaughtered. The Vitaly is not quite well. They journey to Cordovan, finding Vitaly in the care of a man named Mitya, who is now acting as the steward. However, it becomes apparent to the party that not everything is as it seems. Investigation leads them to the conclusion that Vitelli is being poisoned, and while questioning his poisoner, the false priest Prestov, Vitelli is whisked away by cultists led by Spatla. Prestov reveals that under the family mausoleum, Svetla has constructed a hidden chapel to the Dark One. It is there that Vitelli has been taken. He then ends his own life, taking any additional secrets he may have to his grave. They find Svetla there, having slashed out Vitelli's eyes. Jelania tries to convince her sister to leave behind the Profan Guard, but her sister is too far gone. This results in a battle between Svetla and the party, ending in Svetla's demise and the completion of the next sacrifice, the Sacrifice of Sight.